Hello and welcome to another episode of Dinks with Kinks. Now you notice we had a little break. Uh, it was unannounced. Uh, that was on me. Uh, let's just say I had uh, some uh, ill times. But don't worry, we're back. And we're bringing it to you uh, live from the studio. Uh, Dinks and all the kinks. Uh, follow us on social media at Dinks with Kinks on both Twitter and Instagram. I am one of your wonderful hosts, uh, John Dondero. And with me tonight, the very uh, silly Mr. Shep. Good evening. And the very jestful Miss Rebecca. Hello. <laughs> now, guys. Jestful? Really? Is jestful. that what you're calling? Jestful? Yeah. yeah. Like a Me, chestful or? <laughs> a jest, like a jester. I'm sorry, oh. guys. I was just clowning around a little bit uh, cause <sighs> tonight. Sounds like if she's a full of jesters, it's like more of a bang around. I know. A bang like, around? A chestful. You're... I mean, I've got some, but I mean, that's, oh my. that's, a, different, that's a different topic. <laughs> no, I'm just, that's I'm trying to keep topic. things very uh, light and uh, playful. And, you know, it's kind of hard to juggle all this, uh, but, you know. When, when you like to clown around with your when your pals and do dinky shit, you never know when a kink is just going to crop up and slap you in the face like you're at the surface. With a pie. With a pie. <laughs> That's wet and messy. About, we covered that already. <laughs> I know, but this week we're covering clowns. Um, and uh, this is actually one of those fetishes. It's harder to find, I mean, it's easier to find the opposite of this fetish, the fear of clowns, than to find uh, the actual information on the actual fetish. I'm going to tell you right now, if you try to look on Wikipedia for research, it's been deleted. The fetish we are talking about is uh, calorophilia. Calorophilia. The attraction to uh, clowns, jesters, mimes, typically any person uh, with a painted face. And I don't mean uh, your 90s prom date or the hooker down the street. Tammy Faye. Hey, Tammy first off, Faye. my makeup was on point. <laughs> oh, my. Yours might. Uh, my date was not. No, we're no. actually talking about uh, this fetish. Uh, and most people will ha tell you, I, I'm scared of clowns. And that's calorophobia, which you can find a lot of stuff on. It sounds more like Good the fear of calories. Did I, Good did I, I, I bet you I murdered, I murdered both those pronunciations. Bur brought to you by Murder Towel. <laughs> brought to you murder by pillow. Murder Pillow. Like murder murder towel? Are we doing? Are we doing murder towel? Are we towel, towel that... now? Oh, is we expanding the line? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> murder pillow. <laughs> It'll wrap you up. So and never let uh, you go. <laughs> have you guys ever heard of this kink before? Or is it one of those things I spin the wheel and you were like, "What?" I guess I saw okay. it more specifically as in the porn genre than the fetish genre, but I. Yeah, I, could, I should have overlooked that a little bit. I I heard it joked about, and then when joked. you act, joked, <laughs> like actually, like you know, um, and then when you it, the wheel landed on it, I went and researched it because that's what I do, and I, I was like, all right, okay, well, there you it's, go. It's much easier to find clown porn than actual information about this fetish like hard written facts without it being a news article that literally says the exact same thing damn this is a hard fetish to research i found um actually someone who had the clown fetish i found a podcast where they were talking about it with the hosts about their clown fetish and what they're into and um, it was quite interesting it was a female and um she was She's I think very I saw that post. I didn't honest listen to the about episode. It? Yeah, it was really good. She was very articulate and she's it, it she explained a lot and it wasn't just like I'm into clowns. Like she explained what she like like it was 
So about she wasn't the root- clowning around about clowning. She clowning. was not clowning around about it. <laughs> well, I bet you wish you were listening to that podcast because we are not going to be that thorough. <laughs> well, she was into it. That was her fetish, though. So it was. She was actually starting a clown OnlyFans or something like that. I don't. Know. It was like no, I've you do you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I I actually have friends who uh, participate. Like we'll do uh, fetish shots. In clown makeup and stuff like that. Um, in fact, I think I know an OnlyFans that does clown. So this is not. Yeah, Shep, I, I think it's a mutual friend of ours. Yes, it is. Um, and like I said, I think it's not as unusual as you think of it. Because if you think about uh, popular characters, and I'm not talking Ronald McDonald, but I'm thinking like the Joker, Harley Quinn. Those are um, people with, you know, people who are like, I'm into that. Dress up like Harley Quinn. That's the cloud. That's uh, chlorophyllia. She was talking about how she, and I am talking in like, you know, this is secondhand because I don't have it. So I'm I'm just sort of interpreting the information. But she, she, it wasn't like so much as like the crazy way. It was like the old do you remember the old clowns, the ones that were like sad and it, the you know, that or, the original clowns that weren't the crazy hair, and yeah. the crazy man? Like it was like the base paint, but it was more of a exaggerated facial expression. She's and like she was more into that expression, not just the happy ones. It did the sad, and the <laughs> right? Angry. Yeah. Well, yeah. And I I think we can learn because I did study up on the phobia of clowns. And uh, with any fetish, uh, usually a lot of the things that we're really into mimic what we're afraid of them as well. It's just it's just the opposite reaction to that. Like uh, when we cover the foot fetish, people really hate feet or they're really into feet. It's a polarizing issue. But usually mm-hmm. the thing people hate about it are this, the exact opposite of what people love about it. And... Um, with the stuff I've been able to find is just it is a disconnect almost. Like uh, I'm with someone who's not real. When you have someone with a clown fetish, uh, usually, and this is from my research, I, I could be exactly wrong. I don't have a clown fetish, but my opinion is it's, it's kind of uh, the childlike wonder uh, that people attach to their pre adolescence. Uh, which happens a lot when you have like uh, littles uh, and a little being somebody who um, gained sexual arousement from reverting to a childlike state. Not a child. This is not like pedophilia by any means, but it's something that reminds them of uh, something from their childhood. Does that make sense? Am yeah. I just kind of pissing yeah, in I the mean, dark? I could relate it to many of the other fetishes like transformation and all that stuff that's why i was trying to figure out what is it about clowns or clowning around that makes us the desired fetish because you have stuff already where you have makeup on and so on so forth i Hmm. again it's like you know i am you know i have a slight fear of clowns but I'm not scared of a goth with too much eyeliner. There is just something. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to describe this in a negative way, but not as, negatively. as in yeah, negatively. Uh, when I see a clown, to me, it revokes something not human. So you're right. Like when it comes to the transformation fetish, when I look at something it seems off to me like there's like kind of like being blindfolded, like wearing a mask. Like is the person behind that makeup? Like what kind of person is that person? Uh, Greatest, you know, example is Pennywise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And especially in the uh, newest rendition of the movie, it, um, played by uh, Bill Skarsgård. Skarsgård. 
Sorry, I can never say his name right. He did a fantastic Charizard, job. Scatterzard. <laughs> he did a fantastic job of s- seeming like this happy go lucky clown, like when he was trying to lure children in. And so I I imagine every feeling I have for that reverted back into a sexual nature. Like I would take my fear and replace it being fear with arousal instead. So the things that would trigger me, uh, i.e. like the painted on smile or the bright eyes, colorful hair. And the opposite would be, you know, I'm into that. I mean, I did like the eighties, big hair, bright eye shadow, big red lips. So I can see this. I could get behind this fetish. What, what about you guys? Like any, uh, <laughs> I, I, yeah, you guys all kind of just sat there like, we're just looking hmm. at you. Like, mm. Yeah. <laughs> Anything that I think this is just one of those things like feet. Anything that involves something that is a major adrenaline rush in any sure. type of way. It can either go into that adrenaline of arousal or that adrenaline into fear. And there's no middle ground. And I think clowns is just one of those. It falls into the feet category. Like you love it or you hate it. And I can I can see it. I, I think for me, I think the only way that because I don't have I'm not a huge fan of clowns. <laughs> um, I'm one of those people that I'm not a. Not a big fan, but uh, I can see where it's very similar to I want you to dress up like a, I don't know, like a schoolgirl. I want to fantasize about, you know, putting like just it's all part of the fantasy. Like people are really into Santa Claus. Like, and clowns is just oh, by the way, I added ho, Santa. Ho, hoes. Santa Philia ho, hoes. is now on my wheel. We'll do that for the Christmas episode. Okay, all right, good. But I mean, people, there are people out here who are really into Santa, no. like because of whatever. Oh, but ride some beard. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I think uh, you know we joke about that, but I think probably the same elements kind of play a factor in in the childlike wonderment, uh, the attachment. <sighs> It feels it. It kind of fills a void, maybe not necessarily in your sexual, you know, department, but the wires get a little crossed into your childlike wonderment. Yeah, to sometimes your, because it's not when, about the adrenaline. Sometimes it's just about what uh, triggers those endorphins. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What triggers your happy, and, happiness? And Happy. this is actually uh, scientifically considered a paraphilia, which just like, you know, an attractment to uh, clothing or, you know, a certain body part. No, well, not a body part, but this is like an item. So, like, I'm it's not attracted to the man in shoes. the clown makeup. I'm attracted to. Yeah, 100 percent. I'm attracted to the actual items on a person. No, 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 no. Don't take off the nose. You'll fuck it up. Yeah. <laughs> But the no, actually, on. one of the articles I read, they were like, the nose was a big deal for them. The big red nose was, it was a deal breaker. Well, I want to know is why, I, this is probably one of those big, important questions for the clowning around. Why red? Why can't hmm. it be blue? Why can't it be green? Why has it got to be red? Because actually, the clown was originally supposed to be mocking the hobo the homeless man and the hobo and that means they were drunk and so the red nose was always a sign, indication of a drunk drunkard and so it was a big red nose. But this is this is a new generation we have all these genders why can't we have new genderized noses? so what you're saying <laughs> new we need of nose updated origins. clown nose i like it we so need i want rainbow color of clown noses yeah i think they might have some of those it's just they're not the generalized Standard, I guess. But yeah, we need to see this new nose revolution start right here. Nose revolution. (laughs) And do they come with matching wigs? 
<laughs> oh god, I hope so. Oh, yeah. even clown wigs come. You know, actually, Everything if you buy a clown match. wig, they always Everything come in match. rainbow anyway. So that is true. That's your typical clown wig is rainbow now. So let's get yeah. it out some Hair, clown carpet, pride. Nose, all of it. I mean, what? Mm-hmm. oh yeah. <laughs> But I, I think once I started thinking of this as a paraphilia, I got more on board with it. Because, you know, to them, maybe a lot of it doesn't make sense. Like, okay, and I'm going to reference one of my fetishes, but like the Penios fetish. I couldn't tell you why until I researched it. I couldn't tell you what about it. It was just like, that item of clothing really does it for me. Yeah, there's a thousand science ways to explain it. Really puts it, a but tickle in your pickle. Got it. It tickles me pickle. It humps my big red nose. <laughs> it tickles uh, your gorgon. But when I started thinking about it like that, I was like, now I kind of understand this. It's, it's not necessarily something they can even explain. Um, I'm sure they've probably done a lot of inward looking and you found the source. But, but some probably just Lucy, would. Because, you know, Lucy, she's always got a lot of explaining to do. Mm-hmm. Some people just say, I like clowns. Fuck you. Yeah, and I just okay. some, yeah sometimes, sir. It doesn't really need to be a why. I think, especially, like I think sometimes. I mean, we try yes, to. It's all important. Of you can just counter that with why not. But yeah, yeah. If it, it's I mean, we do our we do try to find the why to try to help can make the connection and make it less taboo. But sometimes it just is, and some people really are turned on by clowns and you know what yeah. that's it's like you say, I mean, sometimes you got cool people sometimes you got real assholes yeah i mean i'm really I mean, into guys with chest hair and people are like i'm really in to naval uniforms not military uniforms navy uniforms <laughs> and i can't tell you why i just think they're hot like <laughs> i think that's same thing with a clown fetish. It's I mean, the same. I enjoy semen. We get it. <laughs> I think we're actually military uh, fetish, uniform fetish, is actually something that I have added to the will. Because, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're going to be in a rough one for that one. But damn it. <laughs> I, oh, I, silver. I think this is this sort of falls into those because clowns and feet. Are one of those ta- like taboo things. People literally hate feet, and there are people who hate the sight of clowns, and then there are people who just get all sorts of turned on by feet, and people who get all sorts of turned on by clowns. I think it's just one of those polarizing things. You're right, and you know, without the fetish, I mean, so, this this is absolutely a fetish. It's very hard. Wikipedia said "fuck you" to uh, porophilia. I mean, <laughs> so yeah. if you're into, Ca- if you porophilia. have this fetish, please contact us because we really, we really want to know. We really do want to talk to yeah. you because we, we, we don't have this fetish, and I'm, act- I'm shoes? honestly curious. Is it the makeup? If you- Is it the nose? Yeah, like but contact us. I really want to have a conversation with you. <laughs> and you can reach us. The links are down below uh, for social media. We answer both of them. If you message us on either, we will be like. Hey, because we love to talk with our audience. And what uh, so yeah, media is again? at Dinks Wit Kinks on both Twitter and Instagram, and soon a Facebook. I'm working on us a Facebook right now because oh, old oh, people my. like kinks too. Did you say old people like kinks? Is that what you just said right now? Yeah. Well, Facebooks are for old people, and old people have kinks. In fact, old people are a fan. <laughs> so. Throwing that out there, we're going to be milfing it up. Maybe a little bit of Dilfin. But still, those, Dilfin those are dads those I would like to fuck. Those Gilfing is grandmas I'd like to fuck. Those can't be. They fetishes. can't? Those, that's got to be just porn. Come on. No. <laughs> yeah. That is actual fetish. All right, we're, we're getting way ahead of ourselves. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're behind uh-huh. us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, so now we're, I think Save we're at that me. part of the episode where we're going to play a little game I like to call The Would You Will. And uh, tonight, The Would You Will is all about that clown nose, all about them big old shoes. Would you, could you be down to clown? 
Okay. I love that. I love that. I'm but... leaving that awkward pause in there. <laughs> Thank you. Hundred okay. percent. Okay. And I'm so glad they can't see my face. So, um, I it I would do it only if I were in an incredibly serious relationship with this person, and they wanted me to do it. It had love has to be on the plate. Yeah, oh, on love the plate, has right. to love it. Like I, we have to have the feels. Like it has to be like you're waking up and I'm going to see you for breakfast at least five days in a row. Like, <laughs> I know. Okay, I got you. I got you. Now, um, but other than that, no. If it was is that stranger, for both like, sides? Yes. Like, what if somebody wanted you to like uh, dress up as Harley Quinn? Something like that, or they wanted to be dressed as the Joker. Would you consider that a clown? Even yes, if okay, yes, because yes. it's like the makeup and the like the full face. That's clowning around, yeah. Now, I, I, and again, I'm not trying to rope all, everybody with this fetish into a Joker and Harley Quinn fantasy. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to put it in terms that if like I weren't into the fetish, how would you get me into this kink? How would you put it on a playing field that I really With my big you know, red shoes, big boy? <laughs> yeah. I don't find it I it's not one of those things where I'm like, absolutely not. Like I would do it, but I wouldn't do it. it it's not like impact play or splashing where I'd be like, all right, I'll do it. Like I, it's not as easy a yes for me. I You're think a soft would, limit on this. Yes, I'm a soft, okay. soft sorta. <laughs> soft, soft sorta. Soft sorta. Soft, you know, soft, I, like sorta. I like this one. <laughs> I like that you didn't throw it completely off the table. You weren't like, soft, sorta. get that the hell out of here. No, no, I'm not a big fan of clowns. I like, and I'm one of those people that isn't. But again, yeah. And love's on the table. On this podcast. I'm on the table. So. <laughs> And again, not wanting you to do something does not mean we're kink, kink shaming it by any means. Oh. Just because our personal opinions are, this is not my cup of tea, doesn't mean we judge anyone for it being their cup of tea. Uh, all no, kinks are we don't judge love. like John does. I don't judge. <laughs> and I don't punch shame, you punch see, shaming see, bastard. See, see. Show. Oh. Would you do this? I mean, I would do a clown for sure, yeah. Okay. Would you slap on the clown makeup? When, could, could we paint a smile on that face? Let's put a smile on that face. I mean, I used to dress up. I mean, I used to have the clown makeup and stuff. Not clown, clown, but full face makeup or full face latex stuff for my costumes. But I don't know. Just I can't do it these days. It's not in you. That's that's it's in your. In uh, yeah. Is that in your yesteryears? Maybe. I mean, depends on what's happening. Just, I think of clowning around and all that stuff. It's just, I think of all the messy makeup and hot, sticky makeup and runny makeup. And at, <laughs> and at someone long time who in the shower. has played a clown in a horror house, let me tell you, yeah. that makeup, it gets everywhere and it takes forever to wash out. But that being said, mm-hmm. absolutely 100% would slap on the white, the red, to get the pink and the big old hair to get the pink. to get the pink yeah hundred percent would do pink. it's not my cup of tea but it's something that I absolutely would like even if it was a hookup I would be down for this I would be like okay this is this is silly this is fun I I would bang a female clown they don't scare mm-hmm. me as much. Uh, but if this was like a going to hook up with a dude, I'm not hooking up with Pennywise. It's not happening. Uh, <laughs> boners out the door. Because uh, he's going to look at me and be like, you want to float? I'm going to float your ass. Boner. And I'll be like, I'm done. <laughs> Wash my hands. You were cute without the makeup, but I'm done with this. <laughs> uh, all right. And now it's time to spin our wheel. See what we're talking about next week. Oh, let's get it on. I love that you know, we're all like a- anti clown, but we have this fun spin wheel. Spin it. 
Johnny boy. Uh, who <laughs> here's ever had any type of piercing or tattoo? I believe I have two tattoos. Do your ears count? I mean, technically, yeah. Oh, yes. Well, good, because next week, I, I just want to make sure you guys had a point of reference for next week's episode piercing fetishes. when we're talking about body modification. Oh. Now, are we going full body modification, like cutting tongues and looking like... We're going to cover every inch of it. We are going to go down um, from the snake tongue, piercing yeah. and tattoos to the Ooh. elf ears and forked tongues. Gotcha. Okay. So nice. I'm, I'm excited about this one. But that's fun. No? I mean, I've been with some pierced people, so <laughs> lots of fun. That Jacob's ladder. This is how it makes going in and out. Oh my god, we're ta- <laughs> we're already talking about the episode before it even gets. Here. We always do that. Uh, oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for clowning around with us. Uh, remember to follow us on all the social media. Check out our merch store and our Patreon. All the links are down below. Uh, I'm so get on one of low. I am one of the hosts, I, the ringmaster, as it were, uh, oh of Dance with Kinks, John Dondera. And with me is Thing One and Thing Two, the clowns, <gasps> Prince of, because they were clowns. No. Yeah, I they refuse. Were. I'm sorry. I refuse to be called a thing. Take it back. I take uh-uh. it back. Retracted. Retracted. Mm-hmm. These are my clown prince and princess. Oh, I'm not of a princess kings. either. Come on, John. Fail in today. <laughs> uh, you were the prince. Shep was my princess. Oh, Moving on. I see. Okay. Shep, tell him good night. <laughs> Till next time. <laughs> Rebecca. Take care of yourself and say goodbye. I always take care of myself. Good night. We'll see you guys next week. 